Hey everybody, welcome to the limited edition version of episode 99. 99. One away from 100. We are recording this on a very chilly Thursday evening, December 8th, 2016. I am one of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the man who is still grumpy about not getting his holiday pies from McDonald's earlier today. Jason Gray. Good evening, Josh. How are we doing? Fantastic, my friend. Uh, McDonald's denied you of your Christmas joy, did they? I'm very upset about it, actually. You should be. I was like, people were like, I was checking on Twitter, and people were saying, well, they're getting them today. Two people tweeted me like, oh, yeah, we've had them two weeks ago, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, awesome. It's time to go get my favorite thing of uh, of the holiday season. And I show up, I'm like, hey, do you have the holiday pie? And they're like, we're not getting them. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> like, don't have them? We're not getting them. It's like, we're not getting them. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding me? Or is this like, so I don't really know. I'm not giving it because people have them in the sure. U.S. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to go around to my local McDonald's if yeah. none of them have them. And if you have them, I would get those foam boxes they ship food in. <laughs> and I want someone to mail them to me. Send me a DM. We'll make this work. They're that important to you, huh? I love McDonald's holiday pies. Okay, so I don't know if I could say I've ever had a McDonald's holiday pie. You are missing the heck out. Possibly. I also don't go to McDonald's very often, so that might be the reason. Sure. Um, what is the difference between a holiday pie and their traditional standard apple pie? So a McDonald's holiday pie is a creamy, smooth vanilla custard nestled in a flaky, buttery crust glazed with sugar and topped with rainbow sprinkles. You had me at the vanilla custard. That's so freaking good. Wow. Hmm. You have, to, have you even seen... Do you know what they look like? Um, Look like? No. No. Yeah, so you, so. You, have to, you have to Google them sometimes. I mean, I have a, a, a an idea of what they might look like. They look like... They they're, they look like the apple pie. Sure. For have yellow inside and have sprinkles all over them. They look like happiness. <laughs> they look like delicious. But not for this guy. Yeah, you, uh, you, you know, I, I feel for you, man. I really do. Wow, those look uh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, here's hoping that uh, your McDonald's comes through in the clutch, because I'd hate for you to be sad panda all the way through the holidays. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Someone better, someone, someone better make my Christmas, or sure, it's not gonna be good. Uh, speaking of food for the holidays. How is your quest to learn about the uh, infamous tamales going? To learn about them? Yeah. Well, I haven't I haven't checked to see if the local Mexican restaurant that I'm thinking of has them or not. Okay. Okay. But I did I did talk to Amy about it, mm-hmm. and so she like my my theory was she knew we were on podcasting, so she knew it had something to do with that. Sure. So she knew what they are when you showed them to her. Okay. Per se, didn't know what they were called per se. Okay. Did did think of the hot tamales and did think <laughs> of tweeting that or sending that back, knowing it probably was going to create a reaction. But <laughs> she did not. I see. I see. Okay. Well, we got a lot, got a lot of response about your uh, your tamale uh, ignorance. We did. Brett even sent me a very mean tweet saying that they are not a glorified taco. But yes. Well, still standing by that definition. <laughs> Uh, Fred Gabe Perez offered to kidnap you and take you to find some tamales in New York City, so... Sure. You know, uh, people all over looking out for your culinary, um, (laughs) desires here, Jason. Very very true. Yeah. Uh, we have a, a relatively short show this week, um... Uh, especially when it comes to the limited edition version. There just isn't a whole lot of news to talk about. Uh, Do want to kind of throw out there that next week is episode 100. We are not going to be doing a limited edition version of episode 100 because it flat out doesn't make sense to do so. (laughs) Uh, Because we're not going to be covering news. We're not going to be talking about Toys to Life. Uh, we're going to be talking and interacting with you guys, the listening audience, as much as we possibly can. We're doing an AMA-style live broadcast of episode 100. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we encourage everybody to write in with questions for the AMA, for the show. 
Uh, our friend Matt Sonnenberg from Skylanders Character List is going to be moderating and trying his very best to keep us um, relatively on track. Uh, it, it's possible we're going to go off the rails quickly, but um, he, he's going to do his best. So uh, if you have questions for the AMA for episode 100, um, I need you to send those over to the email address 100 at toysforgames.com. Um, I am forwarding them all over to Matt, so he has them. He could uh, do what he wants to do with them up until next week, next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, that's when he will be hosting the show, asking us the hard-hitting questions that you guys out there want to know about, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So email address, of course, is 100 at toysforgames.com. Um, I have a write-up over on the website as well that kind of explains in more detail what we're looking for as far as questions is concerned um, and, and any other uh, information you may need regarding it. So that's next week. Heads up, all you uh, limited edition listeners out there. Um, you're not going to get anything next week. So <laughs> just just stick Very around for the full show. It'll be worth it. It'll be, It'll be worth it. I promise you that. Um, with that being said, uh, let's get into the limited edition version of this week's episode, episode 99. Uh, we are, of course, um, executively produced by our friend George Torres. Um, and the show sponsor, as always, is Devin Lachinsky, who you can find over at YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash user slash D-L-A-S-C-H-2. Um, I have spoken to Devin since he got back from PSX. He had a blast, um, and I look forward to doing something fun with him in the upcoming weeks to talk about uh, PSX even more so. So mm. stay on the lookout for that, folks. Um, let's get down to it, Jason. Uh, Skylanders. Let's talk about Skylanders a little bit. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, so Skylanders, um, big thing this week uh, is that Wave 3, the figures, at least the main figures, um, are now available at Toys R Us, um, available at ToysRUs.com as well. So if you can't find them in your store, you can get them online. Um, low shipping right now, it's like $19, I think, if you want to get free shipping on them. Um, so they are all available there. Um, still haven't seen any of them pop up anywhere else. Um, so still your best bet is at your local Toys R Us or online. Um, as far as some other stuff, the Enchanted Forest Pack is showing up for like Targets. Um, I think someone even found it at GameStop. Um can't remember if someone found it at Walmart or not. Um, but it is showing up other places. Um, same with the Crash Pack, showing up at GameStop, showing up at Target, um, showing up at um, a couple other places as well. So those are slowly going out there. Crystals, again, I think pretty much just still at Toys R Us um, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, no idea be, uh, for the three-pack beyond Amazon. Um, still no word of the two dual packs, uh, including the one that has Pinata in it. Oh, um, that is coming out. Uh, Thursday today, next week, Thursday, sometime in Australia. Um, so um, hopefully it comes here soon. Again, those were Best Buy exclusive, so maybe it'll be there, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, and Holiday Chompy Mage. Um, I know at Toys R Us, but elsewhere also? Uh, it should be. Yeah. I think it's just been really been that, that place in GameStop. Okay. But um, should should be going other places. But it's not a retail exclusive. I want to remind no. people that it, it should nope. show up to everywhere else eventually at some point. Yep. You think? Yes. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Uh, Lego Dimensions. What's going on with Lego Dimensions? Yeah, so we'll dive into a little bit more. We didn't really talk about it much on the show before. Um, but Marceline seems to be fixed. Um, she is available back again on Toys R Us's website. Um, it looks like it might have honestly been a patch issue in the game versus the actual toy tag issue um, with some of them. So um, we'll see. But anyway, it seems to be working some. Um, some people who were not working before are now working. So, um, But anyway, it should be available to purchase again at Toys R Us. I haven't seen it back on the shelves yet. Um, I have. Okay. Yeah, my... I, have, I haven't seen it mine, but it seems to be going good. Yeah, my Toys R Us had roughly eight pegs filled with Marceline's. So sure. it's like they... they gathered all the boxes they threw them into and just threw them up all Back together out. at once. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Um, 
I think the big news of the week belongs to Amiibo. Yeah. Because Amiibo do sneaky things. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> um, yeah, so one, obviously, a reminder, Zelda Amiibo are out. Uh, the four total in the three different packages um, available everywhere at your local retailers. Um, so be sure to check those out if you'd like to get your hands on those. Speaking of those, we did get some confirmation on some new um, Breath of the Wild Amiibo functionality as far as those go. Um, the 8-bit link will reward you with a random number of barrels. Uh, you might find rupees inside as well. The Ocarina of Time link will reward you with a random amount of meat. Um, the Toon link will reward you with a random amount of fish. And then the uh, Wind Waker Zelda will reward you with a random selection of plants. Hmm. Um, so, uh, interesting things on there. And they, I guess what, like, across all four, maybe, might have a chance to get like a legendary chest or something like that. So, um, worth get picking those up if you want to get some stuff in Breath of the Wild. Um, again, a reminder if you didn't see, saw some live gameplay as a surprise on the Tonight Show this week. Uh, so go check out that video, but it's looking good. Um, and then finally, the surprise of the week. Um, what was this? L- two nights ago? Two nights ago? Three nights ago? Like 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time? 10.30 or something like that? Randomly, uh, Box Boy uh, 3 got announced, yeah. as well as a Box Boy Amiibo coming to Japan. Um, and it's the most highly detailed, highly artistic, <laughs> greatly engineered Amiibo of all time. <laughs> Most accurate to uh, to the digital representation, I think. Yeah. Um, I think it might be to scale also, the second Amiibo to scale. Yep, yep. So, that's fun. It's it's a weird little thing, but oddly very intriguing as well. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, wrapping up here, uh, we have some Beast of Balance news. Um, I just want to throw out there that reviews are coming in from uh, many different outlets and um, they're getting glowing reviews from people all over the internet, which is super exciting. And uh, a a little birdie told me that they might be launching on Amazon soon, specifically Amazon UK. I don't know if it'll be um, the US Amazon as well, but uh, uh, that's a good sign for them, for sure. Yeah, Big league. Yeah. You, you could get a lot more attention being on Amazon than you can selling from your own website. Because then you're just banking on people knowing about you in the first place. With uh, the power of Amazon, people could stumble across you uh, by accident. And the power of Amazon. The power of Amazon. Which, whew, boy, uh, Amazon grocery stores, huh? Whoa, boy. <laughs> That's a feature I'm not sure I'm ready for, Jason. I'm fully ready for it. I know you are, but it frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> People are already trying to game the system. I, I guarantee you that. <laughs> so, um, well, with that being said, that pretty much wraps up our limited edition version of episode 99. We'll be back for the full version of uh, the final double digit episode of the Toys for Games cast uh, shortly. So if you stick around for the full show, expect a lot more banter, pretty much the same amount of news, but we're full of fluff. That's how we do it here. Um, we have community question, of course, some emails, all sorts of fun things. Uh, but until then, Jason, where can people find you? Yeah, you can always follow me personally on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jason Inquires. Uh, Jason Inquires is also the Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook uh, social media accounts. And obviously, always head to Brick Acquire and Skylanders Acquire for all your latest Toys of Life news. Uh, you can find me personally on Twitter at The Noise. Uh, be sure to follow the show on Twitter at Toys for Games. Uh, you could email us podcast at toysforgames.com. Uh, join the Facebook group, facebook.group, facebook.com slash groups slash Toys for Games. Go over there, say hello to Ken. He deserves a warm hello. Um, and thank him for all the hard work he does over there. Uh, check out the website, toysforgames.com. And if you'd like to support us and what we do here, you could do so over at patreon.com slash toys for games. Uh, we're going to go record this full episode, and then we're going to gear up for episode 100 next week. Again, that's Wednesday, December 14th. 
uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, links will go out when the show goes live. So be on the lookout for that. And if you have emails for the AMA for episode 100, um, questions, I mean, uh, you could email 100 at toysforgames.com. And uh, we look forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. But until then, happy hunting, collectors. <laughs>